My next guest has been with us several times. He's a fascinating gentleman, probably the most famous mime in the world today. He's on a national tour. We'll be appearing in Chicago uh, for three weeks uh, in March, and he will be here in Los Angeles this May. Would you welcome, please, Marcel Marceau. <laughs> Good to see you again. Well, it's wonderful to see you. I, I heard you were coming from very far. Well, we came in from Chicago, and I understand you flew in early yes. this morning from Cleveland or something? I came specially to see you. Uh, we came from Cincinnati, and uh, we are now... I was in your show at the start of the American tour. Now we have moved quite in many cities, and we have a uh, hundred performances still to make. That's incredible. It takes well, an incredible amount of physical stamina as well as mental stamina to do mime. Um, when, I, I never asked you this before on the show, Marcel. When did you first know that you wanted to do mime? I as, see. as a youngster? In, in the womb of my mother, do you say this? In the womb of your mother? Yes. <laughs> now, I think you are born to be a mime as you are born to be a mu musician. I think it's in your blood, and I think it's... I could not live otherwise. I think... Uh, you see, um, having toured now, after the shows, I like to relax, of course, and it's very important to think also about your work. And there is a wonderful way of relaxation when you read, when you meditate, yes. And there is, I would like to, 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 to speak to you, Johnny, about uh, the art of Aikido. It sounds uh, very far away from, from mine, but it's very near to mine. I've heard of it. It's some yes, kind of... Uh, it's fantastic, you see. Yes. It's not like karate as such, though, is it? It's not like karate. It is not like jujitsu. It is a martial art, a Japanese one, of self-defense, where the aggressed takes completely the energy of the man who aggresses him. And the man who is aggressor is completely impossible. He can do nothing against... Uh, I would not say his victim, I would say against a man who will win. Yeah. Are you saying then it's more mental than and it is physical? It's mental and physical, and it is done with such a speed that when a man wants to aggress and he has an intention to aggress, the man who is an expert with Aikido can destroy him immediately, but on a very kind way. You will say, what does it mean, a very kind way? I say that he can prevent ev every aggression, first of all, there is a certain knowledge about life and himself and his body and everything which makes him absolutely invincible. Mm -hmm. Can I give you one example? Yes. yes. Well, you see, when I take your energy, if you want to hit me, which you will never do, <laughs> but if um, you, uh, if you have a certain energy, I will take completely your energy away and you will do nothing. You will just hit the air. It will be impossible for you to do anything towards me. I give an example. All right. With your two hands, you will just do this to me. You will bend my arm. Bend your arm. Yes. Do it really. You know, you are very strong. Just take it and. Yes. Now you're, you're will, holding. I, it. I will resist, but I will resist. All right. Okay. Now <laughs> I will do the same, but I will f fill my arm with what I call the key. The key, the Japanese word, is a certain energy, a certain fluid, a certain amount of energy, which will be like water running in a pipe. And it will be impossible for you to bend my arm. Now, the people will maybe think that we have prepared that. No, not it's not, not true. It's absolutely right. Now, if you want, you can stand up. All right. Okay? You see, I concentrate. It needs just concentration. Mm -hmm. Now you want me okay. To... Now try to bend my arm now. <laughs> That's about as good as I can do. Once more, once more. Really? I will be completely relaxed now. Once more. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly the same. Lift me. <laughs> lift me. Lift me. <laughs> lift, lift you. Yes, lift me. All right, round the waist. Yes, okay. Okay. Now, try to lift me again. 
<clears throat> the same, the same way. I feel like you weigh a ton. Yes, you know, exactly. Because I put my energy way down. It's that's incredible. It's all in the mind. You it's know what Aikido means? <coughs> Aikido? Aikido. Aikido. Aikido, the art of not being there. Wonderful. And I will tell you an anecdote about I'm that. I'm a student of that. Wonderful. <laughs> We, I have. we couldn't lift you with a Derek. Uh, you touch me, right? You lift me, Derek, and all. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. There is a wonderful small anecdote about Aikido, which I want to tell you, which is about a samurai, a noble warrior, and this is how Aikido started. There was a wonderful samurai who had a beautiful third. And he enters in an inn, and he takes his third, he puts his beautiful third near him. And he orders food, and he begins to eat with sticks, with two sticks. Not far from him, there are three warriors, Japanese warriors, rather bad guys, you know, looking the beautiful third. And they say in their mind, <laughs> which means in English, of course, what a beautiful third. We are three, he is one. We are going to take this third, but we have to provoke him. <laughs> and the samurai is eating quietly his meal, without moving, very serene, very calm. But now the three warriors have to provoke him. And they pretend to drink. They get up. They begin to insult him. They draw their third, and all three advance towards the samurai. The samurai is eating, and suddenly three flies come very near the samurai. And with his two sticks, he kills the three flies. And then the three, the three warriors <laughs> run away. The art of not being that. This is, this is the art of uh, preventing to fight. Because through the knowledge, if you can kill three flies, it's two sticks like. How did you know about this? Aikido. Aikido. I studied Aikido with uh, a Chinese guy. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and I didn't know that it was Japanese until just now. And that's probably why I've been beaten up every time I've <laughs> <coughs> that's, that's interesting. No, um, I'm interested in all the oriental uh, arts of uh, self-defense and, def and offense, too. From the jiu-jitsu yes, jiu to which start with jiu. Isn't there a kung fu also? And, uh, kung fu or yeah, karate? Kung and... fu, yeah. Jiu-jitsu, judo, kung fu. Aikido, and there's one other thing. Uh, there's a beautiful art also of Tai Chi. It's also another Tai Chi. Yeah. Tai Chi. This is Chinese, and this gives you a fantastic control of the whole body. And this is why the more you enter in the art of mind, which is the art of identification of men with all elements and people who surround us, I would say that it takes, for instance, if you mime a fish, you become the fish. If you mime a tree, you become the tree. If you are stone, not stone. Oh, we've but been stoned already. <laughs> <laughs> about yeah. us. We did that when we were talking that night about having the drink, and you said that you must feel, as you mind, the weight of the object and the, and the, the bulk of it. The, the weight of the object, the consistency, the volume, completely. You see, for instance, we shall do some exercises after. I love working uh, with you. Uh, Every time you've been here, you've tried to teach me a little bit. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you give instruction? Do you have classes? I understand Well, that. I have a school in Paris, but now, of course, I am in tour of the school that is closed for the moment, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But we had seven teachers, fencing, acrobacy. I like very much to fence, mm -hmm. too. Acrobacy, uh, classic dance, modern dance, mime, of course, juggling. That's all uh, part of the same art, isn't yes, it? The, it's all the motion of the, of the body. and. Uh, if you don't mind, I will show you in space, because the important thing is when we deal with space, with emptiness, we have to make the space with a volume. We have to fill space, and we have to make music of silence. If you don't mind, I will just show you an exercise called optical illusion. Optical illusion? Oh, let's see now. How much time? time do we have here? We only have a minute. Why don't we 
do it after this next That's break really because uh, you really have to have time yes, to. Yes, uh, you are right. That's really right. Yeah, I've seen Sorry. you do it. I've seen you do it on stage before, and uh, you, where you do the illusion of of going, uh, of going away. away and get the uh, the the inf perspective of inf almost infinity just by the control of the body. Quick joke. For take up to half a minute. We got half a minute. Guy walks into the bar. <laughs> guy starts a fight. The other guy says, "I call karate." The other guy says, "I call chair." Boom. <laughs> And we shall return in a moment, so stay with us. <laughs>